that is, well, it's just probably about 12 or 13 years old. Uh, I wonder if that's something that you're kind of excited about getting there and just uh, getting involved and, and really starting the, the journey as a boiler and part of the organization. Yeah, I mean, uh, I went to it last year. It was the first time, and uh, it was really exciting for me. I've never done it before, and I thought I made a good impression this year. I'm looking to build off that and, and really make a uh, even, even even stronger impression. Max, the last few years since you've been drafted, you've, you've made huge strides. Like lots of people talk about just, you know, you're such a raw, natural athlete. What, what do you feel has been the big reason why such a steep improvement the last few years for you? Uh, I think it's just the work you put in the summers. Is, is a, it, it reflects how you do during the year. And uh, I've had some good summers out at Caronport training there with uh, a couple uh, really good guys, good trainer, Dustin Friesen. And uh, I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to help me this year. For other fans who maybe don't see you a lot, what do you feel your best attributes as a player right now? I think it's just my ability to play defense, lock the game down, be a physical presence out there, but also move the puck quick, get it in the forward's hands. You're going back to junior, do you think, this year, unless you make the big team, but is that the plan for you? What do you think? Uh, I mean, that's up to management. <laughs> I'm not sure. You're not allowed, though, to go to the AHL, like it's NHL or junior. Is that not correct? Uh, it's my 20-year-old year, so I am technically oh, allowed to go to the AHL. Me, no, no worries. Good. So when you have an array of options and a lot of places you can end up, what's the mindset when you come into a camp like this? Is it realistic to say I'm coming here to make the orders? Uh, you come in with the mindset to play the best hockey you can, and wherever you end up is wherever you end up. That's how I think about it. Just do the best I can with where I'm at. You got a chance to play some games in preseason last year, or just a rookie game? Uh, I played one game in Seattle last year, and that was a really good experience. You get to play in front of a really big crowd in Seattle, and uh, it's the first time seeing the Kraken in person, and I'm hoping uh, maybe I'll get a little more of that this year. Did you get a veteran to play with or another rookie? Uh, I was playing with Nima Linen for a lot of the game. And so really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was kind of just letting him do his thing, and I was just there to support. <laughs> do you feel a lot more comfortable and maybe relaxed this year, having been through it last year, and then you, you look to make a bigger impression when you get into the preseason? Yeah, I am, uh, I'm not just kind of holding on this year. I really want to make uh, my presence known right away. Um, I'm not just happy being at camp. I want to make an impression at camp. What's the biggest difference between the Max that showed up to rookie camp last year and the Max that's here this week? Uh, just a year older, a little bit stronger, and uh, maybe a little bit more mature. Did you have a checklist or anything for this past off season that you really wanted to get to to make an, that further impression coming into camp? Uh, not so much a checklist. Just It's kind of just about doing the, the right things every day to put yourself in a position where you're not nervous coming into camp. You feel like you've put in the work, and it's not going to be uh, an eye-opener when you're out there. What would you say are the main takeaways from a rookie camp like this when you go to Penticton, get some team bonding in, and then kind of hit the ground running when main camp opens? Yeah, I mean, I think it's about getting into, like, game shape because you get to play some games. I haven't played since the playoffs in uh, the WHL, and... Uh, I'm, I'm looking to take some experience out of the games coming into camp. So when you got drafted in the seventh round, were you obviously not watching the draft? Or all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you got drafted? So a lot of, I ask that question a lot of times because if you're a high pick, you're sitting in the seats and yeah. <laughs> waiting for your name to be called. Where were so you? Where were you? Uh, no, that's a great question. I was uh, on the golf course halfway through my round. Uh, one of my buddies had the draft on his phone, so found out about hole 12 and I don't think I uh, got a par after that that's for sure <laughs> I was uh, a lot of double bogeys <laughs> and because you didn't play a whole lot that you dropped here uh, 17 games in the WHL bubble so obviously somebody <laughs> saw something in those 17 games yeah yeah no, I was fortunate somebody <laughs> saw something and uh, well hopefully it was good so who, who calls you Maximus uh, <laughs> uh, I, I kind of just leave it up to whoever. I, I, I like Maximus or Max. I got a lot of nicknames, but Maximus is a fun name, so I don't mind. So why did they name you that? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, who knows? I mean, it's a, it's a nice name. I think they wanted to name me Maximilian, but maybe they just saw Gladiator one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, we always ask the defense, but... Are you a defensive defenseman or offensive defenseman? And they, they all say the same thing. I'm a good two-way defenseman. Is that what you 
that you would say? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a tough question. Everybody wants to play both sides, but I'm a de defensive defenseman first, and I make a pass and I join the rush when it's necessary. It's not my go-to. I would say I, I'm more defensive than offensive, but I can play both. What did Nima Linen tell you when you were playing that game? <laughs> Yeah, he had some good tips. He's a good presence out there. He's, he's just, they kind of, it's a junior mindset to hold on to the puck a little bit. So he said, make sure you're moving the puck quick and I'm going to do my thing and hit run guys. Did you play against any NHL players that day and then came down on you, like Everly or any of those guys? Yeah, yeah. I think they were dressing maybe nine or 10 NHL regulars. So uh, there's Justin Schultz, uh, I think. Uh, Matty Beneers, there's there's some really good players out there, so it was really it was a really cool experience for me. I was thinking I was really blessed to be there.